inside the controller. This is the uh, connection for load cell connection for scale one is here. Uh, scale two is here. Now this is a three head, so scale three load cell is here. Um, the analog output this is just a single analog because it's just a gravity gate. Scale one analog, scale two analog, scale three analog output to the gravity gate. Now from the factory, this, this is a disable function right here. And it's on terminals uh, second and the third from the right here. They have this, this is wired through the e-stop and it's confusing. So what happens when you hit the e-stop Everything, not the power doesn't go off, but the outputs won't work. What I do is remove that wire and just put a jumper here. And then what I do is run the 110 volt through the e-stop so that when you hit the e-stop, all the power goes off. Less confusion for the operators. So all you would do is um, where the, uh, after the, after the circuit breaker, uh, at the bottom, of, so bring the power into, so we've got L goes into the top of the circuit breaker, then from the bottom of the breaker over to the E-stop, from the E-stop back over to A. And then when you hit the E-stop, that will disable the 110 volts. These are the inputs and output relays. These are the inputs. These are the outputs. The outputs have a built-in fuse. I believe it's a half amp or a one amp fuse recommended to have spare relays. This is a 24 volt power supply.